as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this judgment. Hebrews 9 27. Where will you spend eternity when you exit this life? This is a question you need to ask yourself on a daily basis. Have you thought about it? Do you even know there is eternity? Let me just take you through the life cycle a man comes on this earth and exits. Before a man comes onto this earth, there should be pregnancy. Then from pregnancy, he moves on to infancy. After infancy, the toddler age or the toddler years. Then from the toddler years, you move to childhood, then to puberty then to old adolescent, adulthood, middle age, the senior age, and then man will die. First of all, remember that there is an eternity. Also remember you must spend that eternity somewhere. Where is it going to be? Thirdly, remember that the question where you will spend eternity is more important than the question where will you spend your present life? The next point to consider is that is it possible for us to know where we shall spend eternity? Some think it's all guesswork. It is with some. Jesus knew where he would spend eternity. He said, I will go to him that sent me. Paul knew where he was going to spend eternity. He said, for me to die is gain and gain. I depart to be with Christ, which is very far better. Philippians chapter 1 verse 23. And still again, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not only to me, but also to all them that have loved his appearing. Second Timothy 4, 7 to 8. The fifth factor or the fifth fact to bear in mind is that we will spend eternity in one or two places in heaven or in hell the exact location of heaven and the exact location of hell is a question we all need to enter into Hmm. the character of the places is important question heaven is a place of holiness happiness and love hell is a place of violence, misery, and hate. In one or the other, you and I shall spend eternity. 
with Christ or with the devil. With the holy and pure or with the profane, the blasphemous, which will it be for all eternity? Just one point more. Where you spend eternity will be the will be determined by what you do with Jesus Christ. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will spend eternity with him. If you reject Jesus Christ, you will spend eternity away from him. Listen to the sure word of God. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abided on him. John 3 36. Listen again. The Lord shall reveal from heaven with his mighty angels. In flaming fire, rendering vengeance to them that know not God, and to them that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall suffer punishment, even everlasting destruction from the face of of the Lord and from the glory of his might. 2 Thessalonians 1 7 to 9. Where we spend eternity will be determined by what we do with Jesus Christ in the life that now is. Let me give you time to ponder over this thing. The Lord laid upon my heart to share this with you, brothers and sisters. I once went for a funeral and we went to the cemetery to bury the person who died. And at the cemetery, I noticed that a lot of people were dead at the cemetery. So when I came back, the Lord laid upon my heart to do this video where we are going to spend eternity. As I said earlier on, it's a question that we need to ask ourselves. The Bible said that if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you shall have life and if you don't accept him, you won't have life, meaning you are not going to spend eternity with him, but rather you are going to spend eternity with the devil. My brothers and sisters, hell is not the place that you need to spend your eternity. There has been countless and countless of health testimonies and one thing or the thing that they see when they come back from these experiences most of them are the same they talk about the stench the smell in hell they talk about the pain in hell they talk about the punishment that are exerted or given to the people who are in hell. And the pain is everlasting. It doesn't end. It repeats itself. It repeats itself. So imagine if somebody is in hell or has been in hell for 20 years and the punishment let's say for example is 30 lashes if it's by day or 
by minutes or by hours you can imagine the pain the person is going through and in the bible it says their worms diet not their worms diet not Matthew 25 verse 46 says and this shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into life eternal so this scripture is trying to tell us that the righteous or the people or the person who lives a holy life who accepts jesus christ as his lord and personal savior will have eternal life but if you reject eternal life you shall have everlasting punishment and my brothers and sisters we should not take this for a joke we shouldn't joke with this at all romans 6 23 says the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through christ through jesus christ our lord so if you want to have eternal life it's through jesus christ and even if you want to die death is not through jesus christ as roman 6 23 says the wages of sin is death so if you want to die keep on sinning Revelation 20 verse 15 says and whosoever was not found written in the book of life shall be cast into the lake of fire watch this whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire the book of life take note of the life let's go back to romans 6 23 eternal life so therefore who whosoever was not found in jesus christ was cast into the lake of fire eternal life through jesus christ so jesus christ if you have jesus christ you are going to have eternal life so if you are going to have life through jesus christ then jesus christ i can see is the book of life my brother and my sister don't wait don't wait and say that you never knew don't wait or don't waste time now look at the war that is happening between russia and ukraine it's a sign to you that the end is near it's a sign that jesus is coming is near so we need to prepare ourselves when you read the story of the ten virgins five were wise five were foolish the wise ones took extra oil took extra oil but the foolish virgins did not take extra oil they thought the oil that they had would be enough but rather when the bridegroom delayed a little bit their oil got finished and it was now they were now looking for extra oil but if they were wise as the other five they would have taken extra oil ask yourself do you have extra oil are you looking out for the signs of the coming of our lord jesus christ or are we just there to enjoy life and die and go but remember if you enjoy life and go hell awaits you but if you live this life accepting jesus christ as your lord and personal savior and living a righteous life 
be in the will of God, praying, reading your word, fasting, evangelizing to people or doing evangelism, I assure you, you have eternal life. One of the heartbeat of Jesus Christ is for us to win souls and to populate the kingdom of God and depopulate the kingdom of hell. What are you doing for the Lord? What are you doing for the Lord? Are you just a church goer? Or are you involved in the things of God? The Lord expects much from us. So my brother and my sister, remember Hebrews 9 27 says and as it is appointed unto men once to die after this judgment I don't think anybody can stand the judgment of God so accept Jesus Christ and avoid the judgment of God avoid hell avoid the lake of fire the fire is unquenched the fire is unquenched as believers as christians let's encourage one another let's pray for ourselves let's encourage one another to live a good life a righteous life a life that is pleasing unto god let's encourage each other to read our word of god to pray, to fast, to evangelize, to do the things that pleases God, not men. Never please men. Never put your trust in men, my brother. Let's put our trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you have Him, you have life. Heaven and hell is real. But the painful thing or the painful thing that you shouldn't hear is I never knew you. Depart from you. Depart from me. You worker of iniquity. Don't wait to hear these statements. Because if you hear this statement, it means you are going straight to hell. You are going straight to hell. Remember the the story of the rich man and Lazarus. They were both living on earth. One was enjoying, one was suffering on earth. When you read the account, Luke 16, 19 to 31, you realize that the rich man had everything. If you bring it to our modern days, you will say the rich man had cars, houses shoes, wristwatches, phones, name it. The rich man had food that even could feed, the surplus could feed his dogs, talk up his gate men, his security, etc. But Lazarus was a beggar. He had nothing. Rather, the dogs came to lick his wound. It wounds because he had nothing. I believe he didn't even have money to even go to the hospital. But a day came, Lazarus died, and the rich man also died. Guess what? When you read the account, it says angels came for Lazarus to Abraham's bosom. But sadly, demons rather came for the rich man into hell. And in hell, he raised up his head and saw Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. And the rich man said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus, send Lazarus. Send Lazarus to dip his hand in water so that I can quench my thirst with it. But Father Abraham told him that where you are and 
where we also ah there's no direct contact it's far so lazarus cannot dip his hand into water and quench your thirst and the rich man also went on to say then father abraham i had or i have brothers on earth please send lazarus to go and tell them about the torment i'm going through but father abraham answered him and said there are prophets and pastors who will preach to them and if they don't listen they will end in the place where you are my brothers and sisters this also tells you that the rich is in hell and it's also possible that the poor are also in hell vice versa but then remember where you spend eternity matters spend eternity with jesus christ by accepting him as your lord and personal savior if you are watching this video and you like to give your life to jesus christ repeat this prayer after me say lord jesus i thank you i thank you for my life i thank you for dying for me i humbly ask that you wash me with your precious blood forgive me of all my sins cleanse me please write my name in the book of life i thank you for saving me in jesus mighty holy name amen heavenly father i pray for anybody who is watching this video i pray that you touch their heart touch their life anybody who needs to be saved or through this video may they give their lives to you turn their lives around save them from hell in jesus mighty holy name amen thank you for watching this video i believe you have been blessed please share this video comment and don't forget to subscribe again share this video with family god bless you